together. Don't get closer than 9km to enemy CV. Max 1 or 2 to A. Boom. Because cause wireless headphones, so I, c I can hear when the music changes. So I'm like, oh, okay, that sounds like a game. Oh, the GIF there is to be transported from Mars to a new penal colony. The, is it GIF or GIF? Right? And the correct answer is GIF. Because the guy who made it said this is how you pronounce it. And if the guy who says it is this is how you pronounce it, that's all the authority you make. If, if, if George Lucas says it's not pronounced Obi-Wan, it's pronounced Obi-Nan, when he owned the franchise, it's Obi-Nan, because he is the master of canon when it comes to his IP intellectual property. Now, admittedly, now it's Disney that owns it, but you get the general principle, okay? So if the guy who invents GIF calls it GIF, even though he spells it with a G for G GIF, it doesn't matter. That's what he says it is. That's what it's going to be. It's not a hard conversational argument. Do the headphones work with the computer? Well, yeah, they're, they're Logitech G9 something something ones. Yeah, G stands for graphics. It doesn't matter what it stands for. He could have spelt it with a bloody K and called it KIF. But if he says the pronunciation is JIF, then that's what it bloody well is. What's the enemy CV midway? What have they got? DM. All right, fine. Where is the DM? Okay. Put you over there. You. Oh, hello. Put you over here. Put you over there. Put you down there. All right, so I'll protect this one, this one. The torpedo bombers will go for the Shimmer. Wow, the Shimmer is really aggressive. Okay, boom. We could reverse strafe on top of me here. One thing at a time here. Nope. Nope. That's not a good angle. Yeah, we hurt him, but we could have probably killed him had we a little bit more accurate. Wow! Is this a gift? Like, what? Oh, thank you, Shimakazi. Please, can I have more? And that's why you don't fly into the mines AA bubbles. Okay, so um, we have a pasty. I have no idea what a classic Cornish pasty is, if it's meat or cheese or something. It was cheap. I saw it in the supermarket and I thought, oh, that's interesting. I will try that. So we have our Neffenfork. Uh, and we have our emergency HP sauce. Wow. Where the fuck are you? How about you come back? Yeah, good luck. You know what? The border will probably save your ass. Oh, hi, Shimmer. Shimmer number two. Oh, that's a problem. What are you going to do now? Because he could push up with Torps. I'm going to Check that out, what a shot. Boom, get wrecked, son. Okay. This kitchen door closed because I can hear it myself, the tumble dryer blowing in the background. Boom, that's that done with. How much the hell's the DM got? I don't know if that was me or not, but whatever. We'll um, go out and see if we can't finish him off this time without flying over the gearing this time. 
<laughs> All right. I'm pretty certain radar's spotting him. Which way are you going? Are you going to double back out? Because I don't think you see the planes. Oh, that's too far back. That's too far back. It should be much further up. He could actually race away from that. He might clip him on the tail with one. He didn't know they were coming. I could have killed him. That was my mistake. Again. I'm not very good when it comes to American torpedo bomber dropping, am I? And now he turns in aggressively. Oh, he doesn't turn in. Oh my god, I should have just dropped him. I'll sack this piece of crap. Ah, crap. Oh, he's got double fires on him. Yeah, that's much better. Look, look, look how much further ahead I dropped him. Yeah, suck it this time. Okay, and back we go. So, he's going to be quite tricky to do anything about because I've only got a single fire at the moment. It's like 90 seconds I'll get the next one out. Maybe I can go past and avoid him. It's like two fire waves. Yeah, Whatever, the Conqueror will be fine. Kill the DM. Yeah, look, he's not intercepting yet, so I might be able to harass him. Yeah, yeah, so I've got past him. Boom. Oh, get wrecked, bitch. Ah, <laughs> Oh, look at that! He saved the defense. Oh, wait, that's the midway defensive fire. <laughs> well, the. Ah! Oh, <laughs> still got us in. That was sack it. <laughs> right, let's, let's open this pasty up. Yeah, okay, whatever. Like, Conquer took a hit. Why don't you kill off the Hindenburg? Yeah, boom, there goes the DM. Keep the fire out, maybe spot the gearing. Sit the torpedo bombers, go after the curve first. Easy win, boys. We didn't even try, nor did we even care. God, it was like my brain was half asleep. Okay, so... What's in this? Sheep? Intestines? Is that onion? Is that like meat and onion? Someone explain to me what this is. Meat and onion of some sort? I've never had a Genesis pasty before, so that's, that's kind of why I was interested. It's not going to end well for you. Oh, you dodged the rear ones though, so grats in that sense. Now back off, go into the Hindenburg A, blah blah blah. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Chicken of the Sea wants air cover when he's over there. He's miles away. You're so far away from your CV, there's not a chance that you're going to get any type of cover if you're so far away. Hey, look, I just bought you some torps. Why don't you turn into them? Great job. Wunderbar. So you're going to send the TBs on Conqueror? Where are you going? Don't actually have that many fires left over. Um, the gearing could turn in, I guess. Maybe. HE bombs? Really? Wow. Defensive fire gearing. Good job. Let's go straight at the enemy C uh, DD, shall we? It's like 900 points, so whatever. It's unlikely they could do anything. You see, the planes are spotting him, and he's in smoke. That's why he's able to lay into him. Oh, 
Oh, there we go, and the shimmer kills the guy. Yay! Okay. I was expecting this pasta to have like something in it, like a sauce of sorts. 